I have skills which are good at analyzing problems. I have skills that are good in planning and executing. And I drew up the first plans for SCLC because Martin asked me to. I helped plot the strategy for the Montgomery protest because he asked me to. I put on the March on Washington for all the civil rights leaders because they asked me to. And I was always comfortable of being of service to whoever were the leaders. I do not consider myself a leader. So well, I think we can learn a great lesson from that march. Because it wasn't the Harry Belafonte's and the greats from Hollywood that made the march. The important people were those people who hitchhiked, who came on crutches, who came in ramshackled automobiles, who walked, because that was the mass. They were the, the voice. And that's what the President of the United States and the Congress saw. The newspapers throughout the country had described the march as perhaps the most brilliant day in American history in, as far as the effort to achieve social change was concerned. I think the movement contributed to this nation a sense of universal freedom. Precisely because women saw our movement in the 60s stimulated them to want their rights. The fact that students saw the movement of the 60s created a student movement in this country. The fact that the people who were against the war in Vietnam saw us go into the street and win made it possible for them to have the courage to go into the street and win. <laughs>